Alert, the number of babies born in America last year falling to a 32-year low. Yes, about 3.79 million babies were born in 2018. That's a 2% drop from a year ago. So with the rate now slipping four years in a row, what impact does this fertility slump have on our future workplace and overall economy? Gary B to you first. Well, Liz, it's, it's not good. You know, this has been studied, actually. The National Bureau of Economic Research has shown that low fertility rates are directly correlated to low economic growth. Look no further than Europe and Japan in particular. You know, Liz, the, the, let's just say uh, the, the baseline is about two children per woman is kind of the replacement rate, if you will. Before Japan dropped, started dropping below that in 1975. Prior to that, their GDP growth was averaging about 6 to 8% per year. Since then, it has declined almost consecutively all the way down to it's barely 1% a year, the same as in Europe. That's why, getting back to our first segment, we need more immigrants, not less. We keep going this way. We're going to go exactly the way Europe and Japan has done with GDP growth. Uh, it's pretty simple. People make the economy. The less people, the less potential of the economy. It is simple as that. And, and Gary's right when he brings up Japan. Japan has had straight downhill since 1975, and their markets have had straight down since uh, the 80s when they peaked out in that big, gigantic bubble. So, yeah, something that has to be addressed. And this does, as you said, Gary, brings in the immigration part there. We're going to need a exactly. lot more people uh, as we move forward yeah. if these numbers continue. By the way, it's not just Japan and Europe. It's everywhere in the world. It's Brazil. It's Mexico, believe it or not, or it depends on where you are demographically in terms of class. Um, I don't think there's anything that's going to be done about this. The more affluent societies become, the more educated women become, the fewer children they have. It is true GDP growth will go down statistically, but if you have a productive economy, fewer people, the same amount of money is still more prosperous. We are not used to looking at these things this way. But the reality is if you're producing about the same for fewer people, you are, in fact, doing somewhat better because the, the divisor is less. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think this is all an unmitigated disaster, and it is also an inevitability, and it is happening not just Europe, one, not just but Japan, everywhere. The, the, the one giant exception, at least short term, on uh, fertility is China, which had that horrible one-child mm -hmm. policy, still grew at 8 <clears> to 10 percent a year. Uh, what really needs to get there, one reason you have the low birth rate is people don't have faith in the future. It's a spiritual crisis. We're not supposed to discuss that here. Mm -hmm. But it does reflect uh, found pessimism. And I think that's going to change if we make changes here and get this economy going and people feeling there's a real good future again. Well, as, we'll have babies again. Well, as, as the one person here in this conversation that actually has to have the baby, let me just tell you, if you get equal pay and you get women more financially stable, they feel better about being able to take care of children. Mm -hmm. I am just telling you that anybody who's educated and is thinking about these things, you don't sit there and say, oh, let me just have a baby. You, you think, how am I going to afford this? How am I going to pay for that? What mm -hmm. about the formula? Formula is so expensive. It does come down to economics. But it is, true, it is true the more educated women yeah. are I mean, throughout Scandinavia, even with huge health care embedded in the system, Benefits. women I do not tend to want to have more than two to three children once I, they have achieved a certain education. and, yeah. and I wonder where all the crisis talk plays into this. I mean, every day we're hearing about everything's a crisis, the world's going to end, uh, everything is a problem, and, and you read all the time about yeah, was, people was, saying, was, was, I'm just not going to have kids because of this. Well, that's well, that pessimism, there, there's, but remember, there's one 20 more, years there's ago. One more problem we have, quickly, there's Gary one B. more problem we haven't talked about, though. The Social Security system has, almost since the inception, relied on more people coming in and paying for the system than taking out. We flipped that scale the other way, and we're already starting to do that with more retirees and people paying into the system. Gotcha. Now you have another problem. Social Look Security's out. already in trouble. Now you have less funds coming in that are being taken out. We have another financial calamity on our hands. Oh, joy. I did my part. Nope. I have two great kids. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we, we, we had five, so. Yeah, that's right. I came from five. Winner.